the ASMR. Uh, Shelly thinks that you should do what? ASMR. Oh, is that the, what it, I mean, I know what it is, but what are the, uh, uh, what are the initials for? I don't actually know. <laughs> I think it has to do with, like, audio sensory something. It's something like that, yeah. Yeah. So you you have a nice, <laughs> relaxing voice. Yeah. She mm. thinks I should do, like, a ASMR podcast or something, sure. and I, I tell her no. No. <laughs> Uh, no. yeah, like you don't have enough to do. No, it's not just that. It kind of ASMR kind of creeps me out. Oh, does it? Yeah. Uh, before we get get any further, <laughs> I need to do my introduction. Okay. Uh, which is really embarrassing in front of other people, but it's become a staple of the podcast. So okay. allow me to do some sound effects, my own introduction. Go for it. All right. If you want to chime in with any sound effects of your own, feel free. Okay. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> Welcome. I think I just spit a little bit. That's embarrassing. <laughs> would you? Welcome to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast with special guest, Alana King. Wow. <laughs> All right. I love that. So, uh, Alana, you are, well, I mean, do you have an official title in the supernatural world? Like, what do people call you? Like, Well, a lot of the times I get called that YouTube girl. Okay. So I'm that YouTube girl. Okay. What, uh, what do Jared and Jensen call you? Alana. Okay. That, you're kind of like, I mean, you're almost like a little sister to them now, or uh, aren't you? Um, a lot of people think that Jared is my con dad. Okay. Uh, okay. Because he's, is that, is that going to be a problem? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're going you're gonna to hear some announcements in the background, and there's a lot of noise. We are at Motor City Comic Con, and they're going to start kicking us out, so oh. that's, that they're starting to make the announcements. Well, there's that. <laughs> yes, yes. It's okay. Um, You've got a press pass. They that's true. Kick, they won't kick you out. I'm allowed to stay here. Yeah, yes. has to leave. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Jared is your con dad? Yes. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. So, I told him once at a convention that I was always cold mm -hmm. because I'm always wearing, like, sweaters and stuff and yes. photo ops yes, and then too. at the last convention I went to I was wearing like a sleeveless dress and he looks at me and he's like you're always all bundled up why aren't you wearing a sweater and then he was like aren't you cold are you cold and I was like no dad I'm fine <laughs> <laughs> Think so. uh, that is amazing so uh, real quickly if uh, somebody's listening and they're not familiar with these supernatural cons how did you end up I mean how did you end up having Jared Padalecki as a con dad. Like, I know there's someone listening going, how do I get Jared to be my con dad? I guess I was just super lucky. I mean, um, I, I went to my first Supernatural convention right after I graduated from high school, and mm -hmm. I honestly thought that was going to be my only convention. Okay. Um, but I got there, and I was like, this is amazing, and I want to go to another one. So I spent another year saving up for the next one. I went to mm -hmm. Chicago in 2017. And while I was there, like, that entire time, I had been making videos for my YouTube channel. Nice. And while I was at that con, um, the social media manager for Creation at the time, he saw my uh, videos, and he really liked the concept I was doing, like, convention vlogs, mm -hmm. kind of showing people what it's like to attend the cons. Yeah. Um, that, I love doing videos like that, because I know not everyone can go, and not everyone can go to as many. So yeah. I, I want people, when they watch the vlogs, to kind of feel like they're there with me. Well, and that was, I mean, honestly, for a very long time, that was the only way I got to go to yeah. uh, Supernatural uh, conventions was was watching your vlogs. And that's how I, I did learn, you know, when uh, Supernatural convention, the giving tour, came to Indianapolis. I felt prepared because I'd lived vicariously through you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad. I mean, the, the videos are up there to help people, so I'm, I'm glad that they're helping. And uh, So, we, uh, obviously, Supernatural is a huge fandom of yours. Uh, we are at Motor City Comic Con, where the, the, several of the cast members of Lucifer are here. We are celebrating Same. that 
Are we done? Are we done with celeb photo ops for the day? Oh, okay. All right. So we're we're wrapping up here with photo ops. But you got your picture with Tom Ellis today. So I did. Lucifer Highlight is, my is another <laughs> fandom of yours. Yes. Yes. All it right. is. How far along are you? I'm in, completely caught up. Oh my gosh! All the way through like the fourth season that just came out. Yeah, I watched that in like a day. Oh wow! Because it, it came out May eighth, and I got out of college. May 11th, so nice. pretty much the entire day on May 12th, I just spent mm. watching oh, the that's show. That's brilliant. It was amazing. It was a great I, break. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it's interesting now that we, you know, it, we get so excited for these shows to come back, and then we watch them in a day. I like, know. Well, how long is it going to be until season five? It's like the Netflix, uh, what, uh, what do they call it? The Netflix binge Oh, yeah. Thing. Uh, and well, it's, you know, you, you, net, you, you Netflix and chill, but you don't really chill. No, you're, you're on the edge of your seat being like, Chloe, Lucifer, kiss already. Yes, <laughs> yes. I ship them so much. So, uh, other than, uh, oh, boy, I mean, it's like, it, it, that was not a great see. Well, I have a, I'm not all the way through it, but where I'm at in season four with Lucifer, uh, it, it, you know, the, the Eve thing is still going on. Yeah. Yeah. So that had to be hard for you. Not really. I actually, um, and I don't want to really like, give any spoilers yeah, or anything, yeah. but I really liked how they did Eve as a character. Yes. Uh, because I was a little bit concerned at first that when they would introduce her, she would be like, you know, the typical, like, pit this girl against this girl. And yes. like, And I wasn't really about that because it's so overdone. And, and, you know, I'm kind of over the whole girl versus girl thing. Yes. I like seeing agree. women support each other. Yes. Um, and I was very pleasantly surprised by the way they took her character. Yes. It, she's really complex mm -hmm. because she's she's very enjoyable, but she has that, you know, yeah. like, I want to want to be bad. Yeah. You know? she's, yeah. She, yeah. She was very interesting. I agree. I wasn't yeah. really sure what to expect when they announced her in the teasers. Like, oh, okay. You know, you, I see where this is going. We're yeah. going to have a problem because there's another woman here. And that it, it really didn't, without spoiling anything, that that, that wasn't necessarily how the storyline yeah, went. Yeah, that wasn't the way they took it. And, and I, I was glad. And I love the uh, the friendship between Linda and Mazakin. Oh my God, I love are, that. It's my favorite. They, aren't they They're so, so cute. great? I, I want a demon best friend. I know. <laughs> did you have a chance? Did you stop by uh, Leslie Ann Brandt's booth No, I or wasn't anything? able to, but like I saw her from afar and she's wonderful. Yes, she's fantastic. Yeah. I, I walked in because earlier in the day they did the trio. So Leslie and uh, D.B. Woodside and Tom Ellis yes. were all in this room yes, where we're oh sitting. Oh my God. I love I, them. I couldn't even like handle myself. I just got the picture and like ran out of the room. Yes. I'm like, I can't I talk to I saw them at autographs and I was like, I have to go. I can't yes. stay here because I will just fangirl. Yes. Yeah. And, well, and then when uh, Leslie came back this evening and uh, did solo pictures and I walked in and I said, you're the best part of the show. And she said, why didn't you say that when Tom and DB were around? <laughs> <laughs> so I told her that tomorrow when they're doing their photo ops, I'm, that I will make sure to point that out in front of them. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but she's just a fantastic actress. And I don't understand how her hair can be so cool in so many different I ways. Know. Right? Like, that's literally when I cut my hair, I was like, it's never going to look as cool as hers. No. Because I just got my hair cut short, kind of like hers. Yes, I like it a lot. Oh, thank it's you. Super cute. But it's not like naturally, it's wavy right now, but it's not naturally like this. Like I had to do that. Yeah. And it still looks nothing like hers. Oh, and you try so hard. <laughs> you try. And then, you know, and then she can just straighten it and she looks fantastic. Yeah. Like it, when I straighten mine, it's like, oh God, I cannot go out. And that, <laughs> was like, like, that was a bad idea. But she pulls off every look. She rocks everything. Everything. And she's fantastic, and I, I love, I, I do wish that the actress that played Linda was here. I know, oh my god, I love her. She's just adorable. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so this is our show, we just sit around and fangirl. I, I love it. <laughs> You're welcome anytime. <laughs> uh, any other fandoms? Uh, you're a Harry Potter fan? Oh, God, I love Harry Potter. Okay, because I, I, I did notice 
that you were following along with the wish that we were that we were working on yes. for Isabel. Yeah. Yes. I did a I did ten for Ravenclaw. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. so Ravenclaw mm-hmm. is, is is your house. I'm yeah. not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to guess, I would have said Ravenclaw. Uh, who's your favorite character? Oh my god, it's so I okay, it's gotta be Hermione, because I okay. I just I, I grew up idolizing Hermione and uh-huh. like literally wanting to be her. But aside from Hermione, Luna is another one of my favorite characters. I love Luna. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Luna Luna's my girl. I absolutely love her. Have Thanks. you ever met Ivana? Uh, no. She's so lovely. Is she? Yeah, I only met her very briefly, but she was so lovely. Oh, I haven't worked with a lot of the uh, Harry Potter uh, cast. I did uh, uh, Lucius. Okay, uh, Malfoy, yeah. Who, he looks nothing like No, Lucius, he doesn't. And he's fantastic. Jason Isaacs, right? Yeah, Jason yeah. Isaacs. He's fantastic. He is. Um, and then the, the twins. Oh, okay. The Weasley twins. They are so tall, they, and yeah. they do not have red hair. No, no, they don't. <laughs> they're, they're really, really tall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so if you ever have a chance to meet them. Are just, they like Jared tall? Yes. They're 6'4"? They are super tall. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Ellis is 6'3", yes. apparently. He, Someone yeah. told me that on Twitter today. I don't know. And you know what? Uh, 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 Brandon Routh is here, who is Courtney Ford's husband. Yeah. And just so you know, I, I actually didn't know that. We oh, did, really? When I said he was here and he's fabulous, and you responded, oh, Courtney Ford's husband, right? <laughs> I quickly Googled it. I was like, oh, my God, it is. And then yeah. I went out to my husband, and I'm like, you're not going to believe this. Yeah. <laughs> because we've worked with both of them. Yeah. And we've actually worked with both of them at, like, the same con. Yeah, they, and, they go to cons together. Like, they were at uh, FanFest Chicago together mm-hmm. yes. a couple weekends ago, yeah. and, and that's where I saw them. And they, their booths were right next to each other, and it was the cutest thing. I've, it doesn't it make you happy, but the, they're both wonderful people. Yes. I'm like, oh my gosh, of course they would be married. They're adorable. Yes. <laughs> and they're, yeah, they both seem very lovely. I've only met Courtney. I, I don't know a lot of uh, Brendan's work, uh, but he seems very lovely. Well, you know, he was Superman, so that's kind of a oh, big deal. there you go. And then he was in Chuck. Uh, did you ever see the TV show? No. Okay, if when you need uh, a, a good binge, mm-hmm. like you're done with Lucifer, so if you need something, uh, Chuck is fantastic. And it's got uh, Zachary Levi in it. Who okay, was I know him, yeah. Shazam. Yeah. Uh, and Brandon is fantastic. It's it's a really quirky, fun show. Okay. It's a really easy to binge. Yeah. And I would love to know what you think of it. I'll, I'll definitely put it on my list. Right. I'm uh, I'm making my way back through the entirety of Supernatural this summer. Oh, where are you at right now? So I'm running like a giant Supernatural rewatch marathon. I've been following that on Twitter. Yeah. Yes. I've been uh, traveling and doing con stuff, so I haven't really been able to participate. Yeah, it's 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 uh, pretty flexible. So if you know you're going to be traveling, I, I've told people just, oh, watch in advance or catch up mm-hmm. later. Like, uh, if you want to follow along, it's... Uh, Twitter, it's at SPN Summer 2019. Okay. Um, and we are about halfway through season two right now. Okay. So it's, you know, I haven't, I, I started watching the show again last summer, like seasons one through three, but mm-hmm. I didn't get through the whole thing because I just, I didn't have like, I made a schedule this summer where it's yes. like two episodes per day. But last summer, you're holding I didn't, yourself accountable yes, to Supernatural. I am, this summer. and I'm the one who's hosting it, so I have to. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so like, I literally have to do it, um, yeah. and. And last summer, I didn't have, like, that kind of structure. And if I don't have a schedule, I, I lose track of things. So, yes. um, no, this, it's just been so interesting to go back and watch the first few seasons. What did you notice? Or I observations mean, going back that far? Because I haven't, I haven't been back to those first few seasons. First of all, they're babies, but they're still older than me. <laughs> yes. So now I feel like a fetus. Um... <laughs> And second of all, I just, I forgot how many iconic things are in every single episode. Yeah. Like if, if you look at the iconic quotes from the show and the iconic monsters and the iconic scenes and I mean, so many of them are in the first few seasons yeah. and it's just so interesting to see like all of that. And, and also I think the boys have changed a lot, like their characters. Yeah. Um, they're a lot more innocent in the first few seasons. Okay. You can Makes see sense. that they're still like they're not as hardened because they haven't 
died 50 times. Right. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I don't know. It's just, they seem also like they're, it's going to sound really bad, but they seem like they're a little smarter. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Smarter in the beginning? or some... Smarter in the beginning. Oh. Like, so like they show more, some brain they show more of their wit. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know if that makes okay. any sense, but sure. like they show more like little things of them just, and you go, that's really clever. And, and maybe it's just, I don't know. I, I don't catch them as much in the, in sure. the newer episodes, but I, I'm just watching this and I'm like, this is so, like, this is so good. This is so Crafted. Isn't that funny when you yeah. go back to a, a, a show that you love and yeah. you can watch it again and find new things about it yeah. that make you love it even more? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually what I'm doing with Chuck right now. Okay. I, I haven't watched Chuck in years. And, uh, you know, it was after I saw uh, Shazam mm-hmm. and I just was like, man, I love that <laughs> Zachary Levi guy. I've yeah. loved him since Chuck. And so I started watching it again and now I'm obsessed with it. Yeah. I want to go back to watching Chuck again. And like, like watching the like the early episodes of Supernatural, it literally makes me emotional because oh. I well, especially now that we know that it's coming to an end. Oh my god! But also with the, I'm not going to spoil anything, I promise. But mm. with the way season 14 ended, it it's a very good thing I think to binge the whole series again before the final season. Okay. Because the finale just. Yes. Yeah. Lose the way your, it yeah. the way it ends, it's just, you want to go back and make sure that you're going to be able to catch every Easter egg in the last season. And Absolutely. I think that you know going into it being really sharp and having rewatched everything is going to be a good thing. <laughs> All right. So I've got to catch up with you then. Definitely. Will you send me your schedule? Yeah, and okay. it's on it's on a uh, Twitter. It's pinned to the top of the Supernatural Summer profile. Okay. Um, so if people want to uh, follow you, where where are you in all of the social media places? Me or the rewatch? You. Me, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I'm Alana King mm-hmm. on YouTube. Okay. And if you search Alana K145, I pop up on Instagram. Okay. And then my Twitter is underscore kingbooks underscore all because right. I'm one of those people that can't have the same username on every platform. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I've, I've done that too. And then it's sometimes I'm like, oh, there's, it's KJ on air one over here. And then it's, you know, yeah. KJ on the air here. And I'm like, this is so dumb. Why did I do this? I know. And but, I, but at this point, like I've made business cards already yes. with all my handles and I'm like, no, I don't want to have those go to waste. <laughs> so I'm just not changing any of my handles. Well, thank you for uh, being the kind of nerdy girl that you are and oh. all of the a wonderful insight uh, that you've given us into the supernatural world with oh. the, the behind the scenes stuff that you've done and and, and being a part of the supernatural family. You, Thank you. You're a, you're a big part of really making it feel like it is a family. Aww. And letting us all be a part of your life. Oh, thank and I, you. And now we're going to hug. <laughs> and then if you want to talk uh, paranormal stuff. Uh, oh, 100%. Kidsy, kid, I know. Like, if you love Supernatural, <laughs> how can you not want to talk actual ghost yeah, stuff, I right? wish I had more Supernatural things happen to me, but also I kind of wish I didn't because it scares me. Oh, you know what? If you go uh, back on, uh, on my YouTube channel, which is uh, Search Kind of Nerdy Girls. I think the YouTube channel is okay. called KJ On Air One. But if there you, you search Kind of Nerdy Girls, <laughs> it'll show up. Uh, Ruth Connell w- told us about some of the actual, like, creepy things that have happened on oh. the set of Supernatural. Stop! Oh, yes. my God. She was telling, like, real ghost stories about freaky things that have happened. No. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's one of my little, like, total crazy fangirl moments was actually sitting in a room and being able to talk with Ruth. And I just asked her, like, do you believe in that stuff? She's like, let me tell you about the weird stuff that's actually happened on Supernatural. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I definitely got to go watch that. Will you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Yes. Okay, I will. All right. Thank you. Oh, I guess I should tell people where I am, too. Yeah. Uh, You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Kind of Nerdy Girls and on Facebook, just at Kind of Nerdy, just kind of nerdy because you know, <laughs> we don't want to ever do the same thing everywhere. Thank you, Alana. Thank you. You're welcome.